My name is Riccardo Rattazzi. I'm a professor of theoretical particle physics here at EPFL, and I want to tell you briefly about particle physics. Particle physics in a nutshell. Presently, our most fundamental understanding of nature is based on the two pillars of 20th century physics, relativity and quantum mechanics. According to relativity, objects that are separated in space can only affect one another through an agent, a field that permeates all of space and propagates interaction through waves that move at a finite velocity. Electromagnetic waves, light, are just an example of that. Quantum mechanics instead dictates that physical quantities are not really continuous as they appear to our everyday experience, but are actually discrete. They take discrete values. Such discreteness cannot be perceived in everyday life. It can only be perceived by making very precise measurements like those made in atomic physics, nuclear physics or particle physics. But it is otherwise a universal discreteness. In particular, it applies to the wave of the fields that are dictated by relativity. The amplitude of these waves is actually discrete and not continuous. As such, for every field there will exist a wave of minimal amplitude. Such smallest waves are nothing but the elementary particles. The fact that physics at its most fundamental level becomes particle physics is not then an accident, but just an inescapable and beautiful consequence of basic principles, relativity and quantum mechanics. In fact, these basic principles not only dictate the way the existence of particles, but also the way these particles in interact. All this has been formalized in a mathematical construction known as quantum field theory. The standard model of particle physics, whose basic data you see written in the blackboard behind me, is nothing but a particular incarnation of quantum field theory. It is that particular incarnation that describes the physical reality we are immersed in. But it is a mystery why nature, among a seemingly infinity of possible incarnations, chose this particular one. We don't understand why. The standard model is an astonishingly precise theory. In fact, it is the most precise theory of nature that was ever constructed. Uh, for instance, the anomalous magnetic moment of the electron allows to test the standard model at a precision comparable to one part in a billion. At the same time, however, the standard model fails dramatically in describing something as simple as empty space. This is the famous cosmological constant problem. It also does not account for the mysterious dark matter that we observe in the halos of galaxies. But it is this coexistence of extreme success and dramatic failure that makes particle physics such an exciting human endeavor. In the end, standard model, probably quantum field theory itself, are just emergent concepts, emergent description with deeper and different truth and principle lurking behind. But what are they? We don't know. But we're working on it. If you're crazy enough of dreaming to solve this question, we assure you, in the High Energy Theory program at EPFL, you will find good company, you will find guidance, you will only need to be ready to work 24-7.